Look out for Gustav Eden. We'll be seeing how he performs today after a long absence. Nine races in a row, never losing a race. Everything has to come to an end. When you are the, the reigning world champion, it's hard to uh, live up to people's expectations when I know that training has been pretty rough. You had an unbelievable season last year. This season has been a little bit quieter. Are you just going to get out there and see what I'm not sure if it's confidence or uh, like realism because I just speak exactly what I think I can do. Like going into Kona, I said, yeah, I'm. I think I will win here, but that's because I honestly thought this is my race to win. Gustav Eden is almost unbeatable at this distance. He's incredible at this distance. As the man who has not lost PTO race from Norway, Gustav Eden will claim victory here. Before, I didn't realize how much part, like the mental thing is in sport. It's so easy when everything is going your way. Like, you don't even think about it, it's gonna be a problem because you're just floating, you know? The level now in triathlon is so insanely high. So if you're not kind of enjoying it and doing it with purpose, yeah, it's hard. Triathlon is growing more and more. It is quite insane. Before the PTO came to play, everyone was just kind of dodging the competition and racing smaller races. But now to be anyone in triathlon, in long distance, you have to do the PTO because that's where people are paying attention. The level is just keep on going up and if you're standing still or backwards, it's hard to be at the top. And so here we go once again. With a new weekend on a new continent, in a new country, with new rivalries to ignite and new champions to crown. Welcome to the PTO's newest playground of the gods. It isn't that fun to race when you know you have no chance to win and the best outcome is to not be disappointed. You've been dreaming for so long. But here we go. Trying to hold off, but you can barely hold on. They got your favorite show on, cause the show must go on. We are racing in Singapore, 100 kilometers of top swim bike run here for the PTO Asian Open. Norwegian superstars Christian Blumenfeldt and Gustav Eden. Today, they race as teammates and also as rivals. The influence that Gustav has on Christian. He's a lot more savvy, I feel, tactically when, when Gustav's in the race, so we'll get to see how that plays out today. All strung out, coming into T1 now. Yeah, this is an interesting dynamic. This is the biggest lead group that we've seen out of the water on the PTO Tour. So Blumenfeld, fast time in a swim, comes out with the fastest transition as well. I mean, very well accustomed to fast transition from his short course. The 
there's so many unknowns around Christian's race today. And he's rewriting the rule book in terms of what was considered good recovery, race scheduling. He's, he's done the Olympic test event in Paris two days ago, flown across continents to get here and race. And I just feel having Gustav in the race, it, it, it tends to hold him more accountable with his tactic. Gustav Eden's lost quite a bit of time. He's now two, minute, two minutes 45 back. So, I mean, that's not exactly where, he, where, we, where we're used to seeing him, but that has been his 2023. Oh, oh as no. we see. Uh, is that Gustav? Gustav. Oh, Race is sort of going from bad to worse. For just That's around the far U-turn too. He would have done a million of those in his life. He's having a terrible year and it's... Of all the athletes in this course, he's technically so good. You wouldn't expect to see that. It's funny, Crow, isn't it? Me and you talked about this a lot during the week. If this was 2022 at this course, Gustav Eden would have been the unbackable favourite. But 2023 has just been such a tough year for him. And you sort of hate to see this. It's actually quite heartbreaking. I've kind of written 23 off uh, already. It was just not performing well in the start. And then... My mother passed away and yeah, that was really tough. So uh, Christian Blumenfeld has dismounted and he's run his way. Well, the Mercury is rising in the PTO Asian Open. We have a new leader, Christian Blumenfeld, out front. I think we're looking at the best triathlete on the planet right now. The most complete triathlete on the planet right now. Christian Blumenfeld is the PTO Tour Asian Champion 2023. He's done it. Well, we promised you thrills and spills are plenty here at the PTO Asian Open. And my word, did these extraordinary athletes deliver. And if 2023 is anything to go by, we have got so much more to look forward to in 2024.